Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we'll be solving a problem from the Singapore Math Olympiad 2014 Problem 2. But first of all, I recommend that you try this problem yourself. Because if you're following this functional equation course, then the problem shouldn't be that difficult for you. So pause the video, try the problem, and then continue the video. And let's get started. So in this problem, we're asked to find all functions f from r to r such that we have f of x times f of y plus x equals x times y plus f of x. Okay, so the first thing we, no we notice when looking at this functional equation is this x times y. Those are free quantities, so we should immediately think of surjectivity. So can we prove that our function is surjective? That should be simple. Well, here we have f of x, and here we have f of x times f of y plus x. So we can simply make this constant. How can we do this? By simply substituting x with 1, for example. If we, have, uh, if we substitute x with 1, then let's look. p1, y. We will get f of f of y plus 1 equals y plus f of 1. So f of something equals a surjective quantity, which means that our function f is surjective. So let's try that. So we have f is surjective. OK. So now we have our function f is surjective, but how can we use this? Well, we'll use one famous trick that we mentioned earlier uh, when f is surjective. Well, actually, if you take a look at here, you can see that here you have x times f of y plus x. So it would be nice if we have some value of f such that f of y equals minus 1. In this way, we, this will be f of 0 because we have minus x plus x equals 0, and this will be f of 0. And that uh, will for sure give us some uh, nice functional equation. So let's take uh, a quantity or some number such that f of this number equals minus 1 and substitute, it, substitute y with this number because f is surjective. OK, so because our function f is surjective, we have some alpha such that f of alpha equals minus 1. And we will substitute y with this. So p x alpha will give us, this will be f of 0. So we are going to have f of 0 equals x times alpha. So alpha x plus f of x. And guess what? We have found our function f. Just that simple. f of x equals f of 0 minus alpha times x. OK, so in other words, you can notice that our function f is linear because it is uh, a constant, which is minus alpha times x plus some constant f of 0. So we can say that our function f is linear and we just need to find some constants so we can say that our function f since it's uh, linear equals a x plus b for some constant a and b and let's now substitute in the original functional equation and find out the value of a and b okay so let's substitute so here we have f of y is 8y plus b. And here this will be multiplied by a. So we will actually have in the left hand side a times a square times xy plus this will be giving us b, b. So this will be 
A, B, and X. Now we move to this. This will give us some A times X. And this is equal to X times Y plus A, X plus B. And now we just compare these two. So we can notice that here we don't have any constant because they're all multiplied by x and y. But here we have b is a constant, is not multiplied by x or y. So we must have b as 0. You can simply substitute x with 0 and find out that b is 0. So we can say that b is 0, which means that we can take this and take this out. Okay. Now, what is the value of A? Well, here we have, uh, let's substitute, okay, here we have A times X. The A times X. So we just have A squared XY equals XY, which means that A squared equals 1. Okay, so A squared equals 1, which means that A is either one, positive 1 or negative 1. So b is 0, but a is minus 1 or plus 1, which means that our function f is simply f of x equals uh, x or minus x. So f of x equals either x or minus x. So we have two solutions, f of x equals x and f of x equals minus x. So actually, let's write them here. And let's check whether they are solutions. Well, they, they should be. You can uh, check since x, xy plus x equals xy plus x and minus minus. Uh, min okay, xy minus x, and this is xy minus x. So they are solutions. So we have these two solutions. f of x equals x is the first one, and f of x equals minus x are our solutions. And we are done. Or... You guessed it. This is a point-wise trap. And remember, point-wise traps are never a good place to stop. So let's actually prove that our function f is either x or minus x. Let's prove this. So we will assume that, just the classical way, that uh, f of x equals x for some values and f of x equals minus x for other values. So we have two we have two numbers, uh, let's say A and B, such that f of A isn't equal to minus A and f of B isn't equal to B. That means that f of A equals A and that f of B equals minus B. Okay, and now let's substitute x and y with a and b. Okay, so let's actually, let's write here, substitute y with a and x with b. It doesn't matter actually, but let's do it this way. p, b, and a. So now, f of a is a, so we have f of a b plus b equals a b, and f of a is, or excuse me, f of b is minus b. Okay, so now we have this uh, relation, f of a b plus b equals a b minus b. Okay. So 
you should remember that we know what is the value of this because it is either a b plus b or minus a b minus b. So let's discuss the two cases. We have case one and we have case two. So the case one is f of a b plus b equals a b plus b which means that this equal is equal to a b minus b which means that b is zero and that is a contradiction why because f of zero equals zero however we've assumed that f of zero uh, f of b is not equal to b which means that this is a contradiction okay so what is the other case f of a b plus b equals minus a b minus b and that is the same as a b minus b which means that a b equals zero which means that a is zero or b is zero and this is a contradiction we've seen that but what about a equals zero well, we have f of 0 equals 0, but we've assumed that, or we, we should say that f of 0 equals minus 0, but we said that f of a is not equal to minus a, so this is a contradiction as well. And so, the only two solutions are f of x equals x for all real numbers, and the second solution is f of x equals minus x for all real numbers. Those are the only solutions to our problem, and now we are done. So in this problem, we discussed some tricks for selectivity and we've remembered the pointwise trap. And in the next videos, we'll be starting with a new concept, which is injectivity. So if you like the video, like, share and subscribe to the channel and see you guys in the next video.